Hi guys, I'm presenting here my latest reluctance coil gun. This is a multi-stage design with several modules. This here is the battery and the the on-off switch and you also see the big capacitor at the end. This one here is the injection coil. And then down here is the charger on the lower lower PCB and then we have two modules here I mounted only two modules each module has 14 stages these are hard switched asymmetrical full bridges 28 in all and down here is the, is the control board so there's one control board and one power board for each module and each stage detects individually the the position of the projectile now let's do a little test here So with this projector I used, it uh, goes up to 205 feet per second. Starting voltage is 50.2 volts and end voltage is 41.6 volts. Now this is the projectile. This was a, or is a, a spacer with a hole in it. And it weighs 1.85 grams. So on the input we have a uh, total capacitance of microfarad, uh, millifarad. millifarad at 50.2 volt start voltage and 41.6 end voltage which gives us 58 joule um, of used energy at the input and then at the output we have 1.85 grams at 205 feet which gives us 3.6 joules about and that translates to about 6.2 percent efficiency of capacitor discharge So here in this table we can see the velocity of the projector after each each uh, coil, each stage. There's the injection coil. Uh, we have about 20 meter per second after this this first coil. And after our first module with 14 stages, it goes up to about 46 meter per second. And then after our second module, which is this blue one here, we get up to 205 feet or 62 meter per seconds. This is what we just saw. And we can also see here that the added energy is the same. It's constant, almost, 
for each stage except the uh, injection injection coil so this also means that the, the the higher the velocity the harder it gets to add to add actually velocity because the added energy is always is always constant and this also means uh, with this setup if we sc scroll down here uh, we would need here yeah, after the third module would be about 75 and to get up to 100 meter per second we would need five to six modules which is a lot considering that each module costs between 300 and 400 dollars the shorter the time this is the time spent in each coil the projectile spends in each coil um, the lower this this time is the higher is the, the efficiency of this particular stage and this is also why in the beginning the efficiency of these stages is lower and then it becomes increasingly higher so the more stages I have the higher will be the overall efficiency now if we wanted to increase the added energy per stage we could replace these MOSFETs here with um, with bigger ones and of course this would make the PCB larger also then there's the fact that the projectile is already being saturated so increasing ampere turns uh, even further will not lead to the desired proportional increase in velocity so we have about from the injection coil this this one here goes up current goes up to about 700 amps peak and then projectile follows until here and each stage is uh, independently detecting the presence of the projectile and switches with about 300 amps current limit yeah and that's that's about it I would say um, nice experiment the efficiency of the of the projectiles I tested uh, was between 6.2 and 7.5 depending on the on the projectile mass and shape and of course if we wanted to add a couple of more stages velocity would go up but it's pretty expensive <laughs>